that was pretty lo-fi, kind of dream poppy. That was Chris R. by Swirlies. Off of their 1992 debut EP, What to Do About Them. Um, that's pretty cool, though. It's like a nice chill rhythm to it. Just chill overall vibes. I like the vocalist on there. They could have done a little more musically, but, you know, it was definitely something super nice to vibe to anyway. We're listening to that today because we have a song from Magnetic Fields from 1992 in competition today. In fact, they're both from 1992, but two different releases. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 46 of the Magnetic Fields tournament today. That is match 34 in round 2. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Magnetic Fields tournament is, let me explain. We took every single song released by the Magnetic Fields in the 90s and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until we have one song remaining, and that's the very best song that the Magnetic Fields released in the 90s. The reason we're only doing the 90s is that they have too many songs for one tournament, so we're splitting it up. There will be a part two someday. Today, we're going to be listening to two songs that got a buy through the last round, as most of these songs in round two did get a buy through the last round, being round one, kind of like a qualifying round. First up today, we're going to be listening to Jeremy. Jeremy was released in 1992 on their second album, The Wayward Bus. Um, this is track eight on the album, and there aren't any notes on Genius.com, but it will have Susan Anway on vocals, most likely. It's competition today is Either You Don't Love Me or I Don't Love You, which was released on The House of Tomorrow in 1992. This one's an EP. And again, there aren't any notes on this one on Genius.com either. Um, I think this release was the first to feature Stephen Merritt on main vocals, though, lead vocals. So I'd expect two different vocalists in these tracks. Let's go ahead and get into it, though, and see which one is the better of the two. Here's Jeremy.
That one was really cool. Uh, probably one of my favorite tracks off of that album so far, actually. Uh, I really enjoyed the bridge portion. I thought the instruments on the bridge were just really interesting. Um, verse 2 talks about a Galapagos turtle, which isn't a thing. It's a Galapagos tortoise. Come on. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty good, though. I like Galapagos tortoises. Um, the Galapagos Islands uh, kind of fascinate me, just as a person who enjoys biology. Uh, that's a, well, that's a pretty good song. Let's go ahead and see how either you don't love me or I don't love you compares. <laughs> Both of these songs mention things that uh, have fallen into disrepair, so to speak. Like, uh, there's a disused railroad station in Either You Don't Love Me or I Don't Love You. And there's a dilapidated car in Jeremy. I am going to give the slight edge to Jeremy on that one. I did really like uh, Either You Don't Love Me or I Don't Love You, but it was a little... Uh... I don't want to say boring, but it wasn't as uh, dynamic, I guess, as Jeremy was. Uh, Jeremy had a few change-ups in there that made it a little bit more interesting, and um, I really enjoyed the lyrics on that one, too. Like this video if you liked the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content, and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. That's all the magnetic fields actually we've got going for the day, but please join me in just a moment when we get started with the Nirvana tournament action of the day. Until then, I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.